We are launching into an American style table at Mahjong time. If you would like to come and play here, I may have a 30 day VIP coupon code. Send me an email and if I have one, I'll send it to you so you can try it out for 30 days. My email is going to be in the video description. Just look under the video for show more, click that, scroll to the bottom and there's my email address. So let's see what strategy theory we can work on here. I'm hoping that I'll be able to prove how joker bait works. We have sevens, pairs of sevens. We could play like numbers with sevens. We do have some consecutive run with five, six, seven. Let's keep the six. Let's keep the dragon because we could play like numbers with dragons or consecutive run with six, five, six, seven. So let's go ahead and give up on the four, nine south. We're going to gather consecutive run four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven. The fours really don't, I don't think are going to work here. Let's keep the dragon. We have tiles to pass, so we don't have to pick a hand. I play at the category level. I think it's the most flexible. So right now we're between consecutive run using five, six, and seven, or like numbers with sevens and dragons and we don't have to pick a hand. I hear many, many people, or I read many comments about, people ask me, well, what hand are you playing? What hand are you playing? I'm not playing a hand right now. I'm playing a category. Stay at the category level for as long as you can. That is the most flexible way to play American style Mahjong. You do not have to pick a hand until you run out of discards. So here we have now a pung of sevens and a pair of dragons. I'm thinking we should go ahead and commit to like numbers with dragons. Because we have a flower, I am going to give up on the consecutive run category. Technically, we still do not have to pick a hand because we do have discards but because of where the dragons are we still could play any of the like number hands and there are three like number hands so let's just stay flexible for that category and not pick a hand let's see this nine let's go ahead and give up the nine bam if we get a five dot we could play big odds the concealed hand with matching dragons if we get a five dot right now there's a gap though so that's unlikely i think i would like to play like numbers if we can get some more dragons or sevens okay we have tiles to pass so we still don't have to pick a hand Oops. Oh, we got sevens. Look at that. Very nice. I think that kind of cinches it here. We have two pungs now. And let's see. Seven dot, seven bam, red dragon. Seven, seven, seven. I'm going to pass one. I'm going to go ahead and pass too blind. I'm not going to pass pear and I'm not going to pass flower. We got a seven and we are going to stop the Charleston because I have no tiles to pass. I am not going to pass. Let's see. Oh, that, oh good. <laughs> I thought we were still doing the Charleston. Whoo! thank goodness. Let's pass one, please. One tile. Okay, we're looking good here. That Charleston went faster than I thought. Okay, we've got two discards. That was a good Charleston. Nine dot. We need sevens and a red dragon. Win. Oh, let's get rid of this flower. Chris we have joker bait with the four bams. So let's hold on to those as long as we can 
to see if we can use them as joker bait. Basically what we want to do now it's going to be, it may not last long because we, those are the only discards that we have. But the idea is that you hold them as long as you can so that when you discard one, somebody makes an exposure with a joker and then on your turn, you use the second one to exchange it and get the joker. That's the idea. So we're going to hold the four bands as long as possible. See if we can get a joker out of it. Fine bamboos. If we draw a seven or a red Nine dragon dots. or a white dragon, we'll have to break it up. Four dots. Or put it out there, I guess. Kong. But it's nice if you can hold it to the end Eight of the third dots. wall at the latest. Fine bamboos. Wait till your opponents are desperately needing West tiles. Bamboos. You don't need a six dot. Six dots. Oh, this hand that we're playing is concealed. This is the third hand down under like Two numbers. Dots. Green dragon. Nine dots. Three dots. Okay, this player to my right, north. Two They're probably dots. playing 2468. No, let's see. Two bamboos. One, two, three, four. They didn't Nine act on those three bamboos. dots. This two crack is safe. Two they didn't act on the two, the three Northern. dots. I'm trying to think if they're playing one, two, three, four consecutive run, pung, pung, kong, kong, Five second hand down. The other option. Five bamboos. I don't think they're playing, Five they must be playing consecutive run and they weren't ready for the threes. I'm trying to think of what else they could be playing. One two, three, four, five. Two crack, three crack, four dot, five dot. That's what I'm thinking now. One bamboo. One character. Okay, so the end of the third wall will be right about where this south one moniker bamboo. is. So we have one, two, three, four, five, south six bamboo. more picks, and we'll probably go ahead and discard the four ban if we haven't already done so. Eight bamboos. Eight characters. West wind. No sevens are out yet. One character. One green dragon is out, which we One really, dot. we could, I mean, red we dragon. could use it, I suppose, if we get it. Okay, there's a red dragon out now. Six dots. We need a red dragon. Nine dots. There's a flower. We'll get rid of it. Bamboo. Two bamboos. Six characters. Kong. Oh, there's a joker available. Eight characters. There are two jokers available right now. The six crack and the four dot. You can see how they're a little lighter in color. Okay, this is a concealed hand, so we cannot take that. We need a joker now. North wind. We need a joker for that seven bam Three that just dots. went down. Bamboo. Okay, we have two more picks before we need to get rid of the joker bait. Two dots. Now the player to my right definitely doesn't need it. The player across from me, we have no Three idea what they're playing. The player to my left, we have no idea what they're playing. There's a seven crack. Okay, so we could use the seven crack or seven dot as the pair either way, maybe. So nobody wanted that four bam, by the way. So, oh, that was a nice surprise. Three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, pung, pung, kong, kong, as I thought. We were one away. No, two away from like numbers. So very nice. Okay, so two, three, four, five, Pung, Pung, Kong, Kong, second hand down. East was playing three, six, nine. They were ready to win on a flower. Yep, ready to win on a flower. And then we have...
I don't know what these guys were doing here. Four, six with a red dragon. I have no idea what they were doing there. Okay. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos. And you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next strategy theory for American Style Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.